Ball up top to Lamb. Lamb on the right side to Paulson coming on the baseline, hooks it back out front to Brooks, give it to Hart. Jitterbugs a little bit, then Paulson for the three on the sideline is good on the Fox's first shot of the game. Push it off to Lee. KJ swim back. Now for the Paulson three, it's good. Paulson's feeling in this game, he is dead. Back in 2011, when we did a renovation of uh, the McCann Arena, we purchased uh, two video boards, two 10 foot by 15 foot video boards for the arena. So uh, at that time, we had been streaming some games on um, our, our website, uh, which was uh, a CBS website at that time. We built the infrastructure to do a, a better job with uh, streaming, in-game streaming. So we do a, a six camera shoot for basketball uh, in the arena, and then also um, purchased a lot of new equipment for the control room. And, and that's when we made the the decision to rebrand as the Red Fox Network created uh, a couple of logos and um, really tried to push that as our, our video streaming service. We started just because of the demand for people to watch our games and as uh, Marist becomes more geographically diverse, recruiting students from outside of the region, you know a lot of parents and friends and family want to watch, want to watch their sons and daughters and relatives play. I think uh, anyone who's watched it has seen how we've developed a uh, tremendous amount in terms of the quality uh, of product that we're putting out on the internet. Yeah, just stay with someone and I just want to see how you do follows. Four one iris up a hair, by the way. Just a hair for So I would say directing the Red Fox Network game streams is it's pretty fun. You're managing camera people, you're managing uh, graphics, you're managing camera shots, and it's just fun, I think, seeing from that perspective, seeing all the moving pieces coming together in one cohesive project. Keep himself down while able to hit on the shot. side three and it's good. Take two. Fox is again tardy getting out there and Ryder's taking its first lead at 20 to 19. The director's tough. I think real skills you need as a director would probably be you, know, you have to be tough skinned. The production sense is very hectic and I think you have to you know deep breath if things are going not the best uh, and just kind of go from there. Um, other than tough skin, I think you really have to be able to be spontaneous and make changes on the fly. Because as things do go wrong, you have to be able to not let that bring down the whole production. You have to keep the show must go on, uh, as the cliche goes. So I think the same applies here. We already, we already did a replay. Ready for? So, Jimmy Taylor the third from Bradford. Four is out of it. Four is out of it. Player for Kevin four is out of it. Ready for? Take four. Three, one. Picking up the so we really do try to get all the angles we can with various zooms and you know focus features and everything. When a viewer watches any lacrosse game or any basketball game, any football game, they're all kind of shot in the same way. And viewers are kind of used to things like that. You know, viewers are used to a spider cam in football. If they don't have a spider cam shot, they're gonna think that's a little weird. If we didn't have an under the basket shot, they'd think that's a little weird. So we really just want to keep our stuff, you know, clean, concise, and quality. Bench side, the true tied up by Lundy, hooks it back out front. Paulson on the right lead, deep right corner. Knutson for the three. Knutson buries a three from the right corner, and the Foxes have regrabbed the lead at 47-45. We have the preview set and we have the program set. So preview is what means what it is when we get our shots ready. So basically we'll switch between cameras two, three, four, five, six, and one. And basically that just chooses what game shot we want. Uh, game shot one is usually the full court or the half court and you see the whole game and then the other ones are more specialty shots. And then from there if we wanted to put the real shot live we'd use the program. So we'd alternate between the program and the preview. And then there's a bunch of different graphics that we put in as well from the score bugs to all the coaches names and the players and whatever else we need for the stream. So Paulson hits the three. Foxes are up here by five. I 
think from an educational perspective, um, there are those students who um, engage in um, helping us produce those games. And I think uh, for those kids, I think it's provided an invaluable hands-on experience um, that's on their resume, practical experience where they've actually handled a camera and been in a control room and have worked with other um, uh, senior staff in producing games and uh, you know they know the equipment so uh, to have that on your resume from an educational perspective uh, is a huge advantage. You know, any advantage in the current job market uh, is a big plus. To work camera I think you need uh, listening skills obviously. Um, you need to be able to pay attention and have a little creativity of your own. Um, be able to listen to the director and kind of shape your camera work over his or her vision and uh, come up with new ideas and new shots on your own when they're not in your ear. As a camera person, you have to make sure you're focused all the time. And even though like your arm starts to hurt or your back starts to hurt, like you're still focused on the game and um, you don't get distracted watching it. That's my problem. I start watching. This job gives you a bunch of skills, editing, camera work, uh, technical work. You can be a TD. You can be a technical director, you can use the instant replay machine, you can do anything. The fact that you can say, I have done uh, camera operation for lacrosse games, basketball games, football games, and you know all these other Division I sports that we have, it's, it's, it's like a priceless opportunity here that everyone should get involved in, be it Red Fox Network, MCTV, but as you have to get involved with the media if you want to really get the full college experience.